Alan Business School uh, six years ago when, when we came. And um, at that point, they were working on Access Trips, which was a cool, very cool company. Actually, these guys are really bad ass. I don't know if you guys have seen Alan's picture jumping a hundred foot cliff with this snowboard. Uh, you, have, you guys should have that as part of the marketing material. <laughs> So, you know, we, we shared with Alan a passion to try to kill ourselves, so we became friends really quickly. <laughs> and um, right when we finished business school, I was trying to work on a social networking site similar to Facebook, basically copying a lot of the Facebook ideas and bring it then into Spanish speaking markets. Alan was doing a real company, Access Trips, and I ended up joining Facebook for uh, random reasons. and. Um, at that time, it was still a small company. I indeed was one of the few people that spoke weird. So they said, okay, you do international. <laughs> 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 and then Anna and Victoria were doing some really bad idea about software <laughs> for local, I don't know, something, travel agents. Um, and, and one day, I was actually renting their apartment while Victoria was in Boston finishing um, business school. And we started brainstorming about ideas, and it's been honestly amazing to see how a company starting a whiteboard. Uh, that, that, was, that was exactly the time where Facebook just launched uh, Facebook Pages, which was obviously the opportunity for businesses to have a presence on Facebook. Which is just okay, you know, Facebook's going to be huge, and we kind of suspected that was going to happen four years ago, as, and now businesses can have a presence. And there's obviously a platform for applications that has been very successful for users, but okay, if you have business building a presence, a platform where you can develop applications, what are the great usages uh, that you can do of that? And you know, it was really a list of ideas, and Switch Fix was an obvious one, and that's where WinnerPrice started. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, but I'll tell a little bit about what um, I was doing at Facebook because it kind of intersected also with wildfire. Um, so, back in 2007, Facebook was only in English, mostly grew in the US, some of the um, English-speaking markets, mostly young demographics. So obviously the first task we needed to do was translating the site. We needed to get it in as many languages as quick as possible because there were local copycats growing all over the world. So we crowdsourced the translation, I don't know if you guys follow that, but uh, it was a little bit of a disruptive approach to solve a traditional problem of internationalizing a site. But it turned out yeah, really well, because um, within uh, one year we had 45 translated versions of the site that we had launched. So we were launching almost three versions of the site a week. And then one interesting one was French, when we um, Created the tool. We started with the Spanish testing the translation tool, telling some people, hey, you know, you can translate Facebook uh, and help your friends use it in your language. It took us like three, four weeks with Stanford students to get the whole thing right. And then we had the tools kind of um, operating well. And then we sent a message to 20,000 people in France saying, hey, there's this new tool, you can help translate Facebook. And I remember vividly we did this like at 7 p.m. one day, and then we went home. And then the next day we come back, we look at the chart. It's like, hey guys, the data is wrong. It shows that it's been fully translated. It can't be true. So we started looking, and then the whole interface was perfectly translated into French. Sadly, amazingly, like 10,000 guys within 24 hours just took the whole thing translated to French perfectly. So that started growing Facebook. Uh, we were launching languages one after the other, week after week. Um, all 2008, we really spent launching versions of the of the site, trying to figure out what were the things that influenced Facebook growing in certain places and others not growing. And then what we ha what happened is we ended up stuck with a handful of markets, probably 20 around that time, but Facebook wasn't really growing as fast as we wanted to. So we started digging into the data. Okay, what is going on? How how was the cool user life cycle? How does it work? And then we figure out a lot of levers and a lot of reasons why it wasn't working and for example in Germany I remember vividly we wanted to help localize the product a little bit and platform is a great vehicle to localize Facebook so we wanted to foster developers uh, using the platform more to create local applications that make the product feel more local so we came up 
why don't we do a contest? And guess who have like a perfect application to run contests on Facebook? Wildfire did. So we just like use Wildfire to run a contest within developers, and it was uh, very successful. It was like several thousand submissions, and um, it started creating a lot of buzz. We also did a lot of other things and optimizations in the product. But ever since, I think a lot of uh, other teams at Facebook have used Wildfire tools to run their campaigns uh, or optimize the Facebook pages. So um, to me, the, the most fascinating thing has been to really see from a whiteboard an idea. And you know, it's always easy to say it's all about the idea. It really is about execution. I think uh, Alan and Victoria have really managed to do a great product. And uh, do you still like design like the CSS, HTML yourself? <laughs> All the corporate finance classes to go on. <laughs> That's awesome. That really shows, you know, really passion and devotion to the product. And that, that honestly is the most important thing. And I think for Facebook World, it also has really been about truly localizing the product. You know, the whole story continued until the point where as of now, there's only really three, four markets where um, we're not like uh, number one social networking sites, Japan, Russia, Korea, China, Vietnam. Um, and we have teams localizing the product in the ground. In Japan specifically, it's very complicated because everyone uses mobile phones that we cannot even replicate here uh, because it's CDMA technology and it's kind of Galapagos Island in terms of what devices they use. Um, Korea and Russia were working hard. And then really because we, you know, the mission of the company is really about making the world more open and connected, and the world means everyone. So we were looking, it's okay, you know, there's really no many more countries left out there, so what can we do to really help connect the world? And one thing that we look at is, okay, India, for example, 1.2 billion people. We just recently announced 25 million Facebook active users. And if you look at the numbers, they claim it's about 40, 50, 60 million internet users, depending on the numbers. Um, but the reality is there's only 8 million broadband connections. However, there's two to 300 million people that have phones that uh, can run data and that could run a Java application. Um, on the other side, you have operators, telecoms that have spent a lot of money on um, licenses to operate data, and they really want to have data applications. So we're, we're working really close. We acquired recently a company in Israel that has the best technology to run a pin client on feature phones, and we're working really hard on launching that, and that's kind of the next thing we're trying to, to do to keep uh, making Facebook more accessible. So it's going to be go after the hundreds of millions of people that have these type of phones, uh, and most of them are in Southeast Asia, Latin America, uh, Africa, that would be the next uh, big area. So that's kind of where we're focusing on the growth and mobile fronts, and uh, then also looking at the engagement of, of the user base and making sure that we continue offering value uh, and creating a good product. So, no, that's kind of how of, of body is really awesome to see two friends uh, building such a great company and uh, on a platform that you know Facebook enabled by having APIs for developers uh, that are the same for everyone and is the best product and the best ideas kind of win. So uh, really excited for for you guys and, and hope. Um, I, I guess here's a mix of employees, uh, customers um, that did you find the product great. So that's kind of a buy. Really. Yeah, you should put your picture though, jump in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many want to see the picture of Alan jumping in the Okay, we need a map. Come on. Find it, <laughs> it has to be on the internet. Is anything connected to the internet? That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Javi. <laughs>
Do you know where it is?